Hello, Hello there. there. I'm Robert. And I'm Vanessa. And we are late to the party, incredibly late to this party for episode four of What We Do in the Shadows, season six. Vanessa was out of town in Connecticut I for uh, a week, and she's yeah, back, and then much. we had other things to do. And uh, <laughs> now we're finally getting to uh, the next couple episodes of What We Do in the Shadows. Right. I know it's just been fast paced, doing other things, been super busy. Plus, we moved, and it's. Oof. But now uh, we finally found some time to watch the episode uh, four, which happens to be on a Monday, which is kind of uh, funny. <laughs> yeah, it, and we've got an episode five drop, and it's not it hasn't dropped yet. There's like an hour before it drops for us, so we figured knock out the episode we missed, and then we'll watch that other one after, and then you'll get them as soon as we can edit them. Uh, but what we do in the shadows, it's the final season. It's a curtain call, so uh, we're in it to the end. We want to see what is going to uh happened to our brood our coven our clutch our batch our crew of what we do in the shadows vampires but yes if you want to check out our reactions to the finales it was a double episode finale of agatha all along it's available on our channel right now as well as last couple episodes coming in hot for the penguin so make sure you check out those reactions if you have not yet but let's get into episode four of What We Do in the Shadows. Now. now. What happens after we conquer the tri-state area? How long will this presentation take? Well, okay, I did plan a lunch. Ah. Ring, ring. <laughs> <laughs> do excuse me, I'll be straight back, I promise. I can tell you're not holding a telephone. Immediately. <laughs> ah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> me and Nando have yeah. a 9 p.m. at our jobs at Canon Capital, so. Yeah, that's true, they're still working there. Right. Great. So now I'm talking to the ghost doll and the energy vampire. Uh, Colin Robinson. Right. Can you just take it from the top? <laughs> He's going to do it without you. Be yeah. careful. Every day I am greasing the filthy wheels of commerce and learning the dark arts of corporate America. To be considered an important part <laughs> of the team is refreshment for my spirits. God dang it, Nandor. Someone took a shit on the toilet seat again. I will fix. Why? They call that an upper decker. <laughs> <laughs> That's if it's in the uh, tank. It's just a stellar, stellar acquisition. I'm so proud of you guys. Let's party! Back to work. <laughs> Congratulations. Hey, Guillermo. Yes, Master. Yes, Jordan? Hey. Oh, I didn't know you were on film. Cool kicks, dude. Hey. Oh, no. Now he's just like a... A familiar? Yeah, like he was before. This little ding dong is partner material. Trust me. What? Yeah, they're never gonna make you a partner. I know. Just like a vampire. Yep. He can also be very demanding. What the fuck is this? Huh? What the fuck is that? Pick it up. Every time this son of a bitch comes in my office to empty the trash, mm -hmm. he starts up a ten-minute conversation. Fire him. Oh. Oh, Nandor. To be fair, he's a he is a vampire. Vampire. Vampire, so he doesn't really need to work there. Show his hair. Oh, fuck. Hello, my darling. Tell him I'll be right up. Show Oh, <laughs> What the fuck is this place? So you guys uh, still work at the uh, railroad, right? <laughs> they forgot all about that. We don't know dick about the railroad. So let's uh, <laughs> ask for a job. Show <laughs> Oh, I just he had to up the ante for that one. <laughs> right. Maybe I could get an interview with uh, the railroad. I knew it. But fuck me, you know. Is anything for a friend. You're the best friend I've ever had in my life. I am not going to let you down. Not even you, Dilbert. i got to tell Sean Ming right now. She's got to let me back in the big bed. Oh. <laughs> just hypnotize the guy so he forgets about the interview. I wish I could. He's almost brain dead. He's hypnotized out. Elevator box, don't go-go. You need to press one of the buttons, Sean. He got the brain scramblies. What the fuck is he still doing here? I told you to fire that hippie. You're not ready to step up. I need to know, like right now. I'm ready. It's like, ooh. Which was to rent an entire corporate office floor and hire a God. bunch of actors to pretend they're working at a railroad office. Now you two are gonna be in an office romance, you know? I wanna really feel the tension. <laughs> Do I get extra for that? Uh, no, you're always angling for some workman's comp so you can Sit on your, your big butts. That's the dream of a railroad worker. <laughs> Any worker. What is cracking, my friend? Oh, you know. <laughs> he just threw the trash can in there. Jordan has asked me to tell you. Oh, advice from the great Jordan. Do tell. He wants me to fire you. 
blend in more with the background, more invisible. Invisible. It'll be as if I'm not even here. Okay. What is going on here? Les is prepping me for my interview with the railroad tomorrow. Oh, could I borrow you my velvet cane? Go over my resume. Uh, resume. <laughs> After this, you'll be getting jobs left, right, in Chelsea. I don't remember working at Kinko's. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Probably because they brain scrambled his memories away. Yep. Or they just made up the resume. I think I should get like a conductor's hat or something. You get that after the job, Sean. Hey! <laughs> What's up, gangster? What's up? At least I am helping Guillermo. What's he doing? How'd they see me? Right? <laughs> this is exactly what I thought. JP on Grandma's Boy. Yeah. Listen, I'd like to say hi to Nando while I'm here, you know? Yeah, I don't think that'll be possible. He's very busy at the moment. Oh, there he is. <laughs> 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 Sean Rinaldi, meet Greg Smith, president of the SIFR. Oh, no, you guys. Thank you for the opportunity. Let go. Ah, damn, that's an interesting grip. Huh? Oh, Sean. That's a great question. Uh, who is Sean Rinaldi? Why you know? Sean Railroad? Boom. Another great question. He's probably like, you're hired. <laughs> Isn't in the business of transportation. It's in the business of dreams. I mean, you were pushing the mail cart two weeks ago. Now you're an analyst? Like, what the fuck's up with yeah, that? Well, I guess I'm pretty good at my job. <laughs> pretty fucking great at it, more like it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, hell yeah. yeah. And then I say, not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, he found his crew. Oh, wow. I thought it was going to go a completely yeah. different way with that. There we go. I thought they were going to be mean to him or right. something. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boy. Office bros. Yeah. I am so proud of this team. Pussy. Really, I'm going to knock you out, <laughs> motherfucker. Shut the fuck up. Everything I do here is for my wife and my kids. Right? Fuck them. This is my fucking family. Oh, boy. Guillermo, get the fuck up here. Oh. 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 I love you. Yes, Welcome to the family, my brother. Woo. Let's hear it for him. Okay. affected the mic. Aw. I believe in the power of rail. And He's like, well, you know what? Like the cut of your jib. Yeah. Railroad more than get freight A to B point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> Greg Smith like cut of Sean Jib. <laughs> <laughs> word for word. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's so funny that you said that. Believe you hired him, let alone made him a vice president. What? I mean, damn Sean for being so good. What's up, motherfuckers? Motherfucker, shouldn't you be shitting in your shed? We closed on the Hancock & Sons deal. That's a quality shirt. We just bought it for the brand and the land. Oof. The rest of it can go fuck itself. Ooh. Nope. <laughs> you get rich off the bones of the old workers. You don't know what yeah. you're talking about. You know why? Because you are not on the team. Bitch, I am the team. I built you up from a nobody in the It's middle. true. You're not that great. No, in fact, that whole office is made up of <laughs> tiny little shed dwellers. Those pencil dicks will rule the day they ever overlooked me. Oh, yeah, they're going to burn it all down. Yep. Which of you sons of bitches wants to live in a mansion? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you're in the wrong meeting there, Elvira. What do you got? <laughs> do you like trains? Because I know your mom does. Oh, shit. By the company. Open season. Yeah, this might be something. Damn. It's a little bit of fraud is what it is. Let's go check out the trains. There are Jim. no trains. I know that. I just don't want to disappoint Sean. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can see for yourself how active and alive and real it is. What are you even pointing at? This is, there's nothing even on this page. This is train over and over again. You see that? This computer is fake. It's made of plastic. Oh, no. They've sussed it. The office is bullshit. It was done just for the benefit of my friend, Sean. My husband spent $3,000 on this place. Ah, it was actually 3500 This whole floor went for 3500 Only for the month. Shit, that's way below market value. <laughs> oh, this is a family in crisis. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Business bros. Jeez. Yeah, plus that real estate girl I've been fucking, she told me Staten Island is the new Bushwick. Yes! I still made it happen. <laughs> Good work. <laughs> Railroad went under, as railroads often do. You fucking kidding me? me? This place doesn't deserve me. I'm leaving. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought I told you to fire that weird janitor. Yeah, no, I know. I don't want to hear it, okay? Just get it done. I don't want to fire Nandor. Nandor couldn't make me a vampire, and I can't make him a janitor. This is why they pay you the money. 
We need a Merc tree. Oh, that feels good to take some weight off the old tootsies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of you. No. Because you're the one that we have to let go. You're firing me? Good luck, Kim. Good luck, Andor. <laughs> it's like no grip to it whatsoever. I'm great. It's oh, been no. a positive experience. Oh. Please. This is be alone. It's a penis! Oh, no. Oh, I thought we were going to hear him cry I thought, or something. I thought he was going to kill people. Oh, uh, well, that There's wasn't, yeah. Still a chance. There is, yes. I came away from it knowing that I got value. Sean Rinaldi is a hot commodity. <laughs> Similar VP positions Again? in the transportation sector. But I'm going to keep my hand in right here at TaskRabbit. Because this guy, it's going to be okay. God damn. Oh. I just had Poor to build son. some cabinet and some dressers, too, so I, I get it. Dressers? Bookcases? Whatever these wood things are. Cube storage. Design. Storage, yeah. So I'm so glad we got an episode with Shawnee back Shawnee. again. Yeah. Uh, I'm surprised Nandor didn't pop off and just start killing people. No, I he's do, a little softer, Nandor. I do feel like that's what's going to end up happening, though. I feel like when it all comes to an end and we're going to leave the office at... They're just going to lay waste to everybody. Maybe. We'll or, see. or they're going to take it. You're going to find out they've been taking advantage of Guillermo and Guillermo is a fall guy for some fraud that's been going on. That too. Yeah. And in which case Guillermo sets his sights on everybody and, yeah. you know, they get mad that they treated their little buddy that way. But mm -hmm. uh, Tim Heidecker, I love Tim Heidecker as a kid. I, I love him that he's here for multiple episodes. I just thought it was going to be like a one and done episode. Yeah. Uh, and then we've got the creature as well. And right. then Jerry was at the beginning so right. i like that you keep bringing everybody back and it doesn't feel like each episode is just kind of a one-off yeah like they have their own continuing storyline in the background and you bring them in for a little bit um but then you let them uh, explore different things and then you bring them back again so i'm sure that the we'll have a little bit of payoff between all of them possibly uh, we'll see since this is the final episode. I kind of hope that we get more like stakes, like people, you know, going off the rails type situation. But maybe we'll get there. Uh, I do like that. They did give us like a, a follow through when it comes to the railroad. Yeah, because that is a lie they've been telling Sean for a little bit. So right. being able to see a little bit of that and put that to rest. I love that. The office that they work at, Canon, is like an overnight office because of the people that they work with over it's overseas. So it makes sense that you would have vampires working there overnight. Right. So pretty clever. But yes. uh, at the same time, yes, I would like more stakes. Whatever's going on with Jerry and trying to conquer the land, there's got to right. be more to that, right? right? But otherwise, it's just yeah. going to be a little bit more of the same with our vampires just chilling at home, which yeah. I'm fine with. But I kind of need more going on. But let's get into episode five of season six of what we do in the shadows. Now. now. Nandor has disappeared. Nandor? No one. Oh, no. Where did Nandor go? He always just kind of wanders off, though, and gets angry. Maybe. So, yeah, we've tried just about everything <laughs> to find Nandor. I mean, it wouldn't kill him. Hung posters. Oh. We have even <laughs> yelled his name very loudly. <laughs> It's the Baron, and he knows where Nandor is. Have a bite finger of lunch foods. while we talk. Literally. The side of prepared the finger food. Mm, my <laughs> compliments to the chef. This uh, was recorded by a vampire monitoring the ether. Vampire. With their suits and their ties and their build your own salad bowls. Nandor is drawing attention. Too much attention. I'm getting Baron angry. Go to New Hampshire. New Hampshire. <laughs> Guys. Don't sing if you wanna live long. <laughs> it's like true detective. Yeah. Dead, it's dead, Matt Barry. Ah, <laughs> uh, the company they bought. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, so we made it to New Hampshire at the Hancock and Sons factory. I mean, it was the factory until you and your Canon Capital cronies stripped it down for parts. Right. <laughs> Invented cell for the future. Gives me all. What if the H, A, and N were missing? Get it? No. Cock and son. <laughs> Nan man? 
the end man there is only nando the relentless he's back leader conqueror so N nando have you been here the whole time since you were um... fired vampire only explanations that means not you guillermo not you guillermo <laughs> it's been a while i know but what i found a bunch of preppy crap preppy essentials and no, I found soldiers. They became my army. How? Did you make them into vampires? In the field, awaiting our next strike. This army you have raised, what is the uh, end game? To conquer, to the very steps of Canaan capital itself. I told you he'd go back and kill them all, though. Yeah, That's like his first did, instinct. Yeah. Fuck oh, oh, God. <laughs> gravy. My concubines. Shit. Oh, God. Ah. Oh, no, Nandor. A maneuver from the east, perhaps. <laughs> He's lost his shit. He's just playing his own version of Risk. He's gone absolutely <laughs> mad. Yeah, I don't like using this word, but he is crazy. Oh, yeah. No. He is absolutely crazy. Ah. And there is only one solution. We Play role play the scenario that Nandor has concocted in his mind. And he can follow that light. Back to reality. So Shutter Island rules, so to speak. <laughs> I'm in. Excellent. Fuck off. What? You need to go now. Yeah, they don't want Why? Because he believes you are the enemy. Bye, bitch. Okay. Bye, bye, bye bitch. bitch. Keep walking, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> bye, bye, bitch. We'd like to enlist, sir. What? All address me as sir. Okay, I'm out. Whoa, 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 whoa. You gotta play the role? Yep. You are clay. Oh. Good song choice, sir. I am here ah. to mold you. <laughs> oh, dang, Colin. It's all that energy. That looks like a medal. What the Ooh, fuck? Ooh, give him a crew cut. Shave your own head. Crawl, hoops. That's it. I, did not I mean, yeah, Colin's great at crawling. Yeah. Should call him Crawlin' Robinson. Yeah, he's gonna do the best. Heck, if I don't want to take another sip. <laughs> he's in. You are trained and trained well. Look how freaking Laszlo's standing. Hoorah, sir! Alexa, please Call pause her. the music. <laughs> Alexa is my director of internal comms. Can we not just make Dandal think that this <laughs> stupid imaginary yes, battle has is. happened already? Can whack me with it. Hard. All right. <laughs> Again, harder, though. Really? I'd be sneezing like crazy. Looking like the Trojan horse. Look like a witless child's paper mache. Fuck, I'm good. No. <laughs> I don't want Nandor to think I'm a deserter. I ain't no deserter. He's got the skill. Oh, so you're calling me stupid. Well, of course not. That's a stupid thing to say. Oh, no, whoa, whoa. No. Yeah, Poor choice words. I'm done playing along with this fantasy. I'm not the enemy. Lieutenant Alexa! Tell this piece of shit to leave. Now playing Leave, Get Out by JoJo. <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah. You're all about JoJo right now. Yeah. Not Siwa. No. Because it is better than sitting at home and twiddling with my tits while you are downstairs locked Twid up in the basement. Twiddling with my tits. The reason for you being so over emotional is because it is your time of the month. No. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Do not menstruate! Fuck me! I love how he kind of like threw his hair back a little. Yeah, yeah. I protected you! Even through all the fuck ups and the time you forgot to buy glitter, the time you nearly killed the Baron twice! <laughs> True. But I never got rid. You! I had to do it! I used to be a human before I was a vampire. I never betrayed my friends. So long ago, though. I know. Uh... Maybe some of the wives, but you know, it was a different time. <laughs> He had a lot of them. Jordan is not my master, and he doesn't own me, and I'm not there. I just... Hi, Jordan. Beck and call. <laughs> the boat master. He's gonna go kill Jordan. Yeah. Maybe. I feel like that's the only way for him, right? Or Guillermo quits. You were angry at me for not telling you what we're out here looking for. It's fireworks. You are the funniest, most clever, sweetest, and most beautiful woman in the world. And I'm yeah. not even mentioning the 10 out of 10 pussy. <laughs> oh, look at you, Laszlo. Flatterer. 
think I may have found your fireworks in this shop just here across the street with the <laughs> rows and rows of fireworks in the window and the sign that says fireworks, fireworks. How did I miss that, my darling? I don't know. <laughs> Only when it was funny. <laughs> 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 Teamwork. Well, I'll just CC Lisa. I too was once CC'd. <laughs> Our purposes are taking us in different directions. No. Parting way. You know, you listen, you dig. I'm a little man. Yes, I know you are. a little man, but he's a great man. Nando. <laughs> he's turning into like a devout follower come to the realization that perhaps I was looking for battles where none need exist. You don't say. So I think it's... <laughs> oh, what the oh, fuck no. is that? Oh. It is an attack. The battle. No. We are under attack! No. Yes, yes, yes! It's an attack! It's an attack! It's an attack! It's not real, you idiot. I have a plan B. Ah, Silverjack. Get out of that. Get in there. A lot of vampiring happening I know, today. I love it. Shotgun. <laughs> I just Shotgun. love the effects that they, you know, do. Yeah. It's what's great about the movie, too. They're so subtle with it. It's the coppers. Oh, shit. Hello. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Officer. <laughs> what seems to be the problem? My large, wet bosom monster sloshing around. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, nausea. You know, you remind me of a cross between a young Paul Newman and a man I'm about to fuck. Oh. We are regular up. human travelers. There is nothing out of the ordinary here. So Whoa, what the oh, fuck is that? Who are they? Is that his army? Did he really have an army? Oh, I don't know. Oh, what are they? Yes, ma'am. Andor's army is... It's real? Oh, oh shit. <laughs> so I guess they were real. <laughs> he said they were out in the field. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Oh, shit. Here here go. Go. Watch the hair. There you go. That's it. Well, yeah, of course the mannequins were just for practice. All this time you thought my army was just a bunch of mannequins? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> It's great. Yeah. Just when we think that he's a little kooky, no, yeah. he really had it. What is your purpose? Fuck if I know. You know, burn down a Walmart or some shit. No. No. no don't do that. Why heaven can unleash the dogs of war on those nerves? Yeah. Yeah. You heard the man? Oh, oh boy. God. Here we go. <laughs> I mean, Nandor did say he was a jock growing up. Oh, God. <laughs> Revenge of the Nerds. Still got it. Yeah. I love episodes when they go on location. Yeah. I love when there's a lot of like wire work and stunts and uh, practical effects. It's that's what I love about what we do in the shadows when they're out in the streets. Right, right. When they do more, instead of just being like hunkered down at the house, right. they're off and interacting with, I guess, like the real world. Sure. Um, and then using, like you said, the stunts and the wire work and everything. I feel like you get more um, out of this world type situations like we just did. Like with Nandor, when you think that he was using the mannequins, but he really wasn't using the mannequins. And you're like, oh, he really was, you know, play, being Nandor. He was a leader. I yes. mean, he was a very successful leader as well. So who's to say, like, riding a bike, you just can't get, you, you just can fall back into that. Right. No problem. And obviously he did. Yeah. Uh, and then Colin Robinson just throwing himself into the fray, having no problem joining up. He ended right. up turning into uh, Ma M Michael Martin Sheen. Martin Sheen in uh, Apocalypse Now. Which comes to makes me believe that I feel like Colin Robinson would probably be best with Jerry if you if it were to come to like taking over the world. Yeah. But because Jerry can't get over <laughs> the fact that he's an what? energy vampire yeah. and yes, he might beat on him. He has nothing that to do with it. It just it there's no cross right there. Of course, there. <laughs> of course. Uh, but it was a fun episode. and But we're just, again, at the end of the episodes, now we're just going back home. So right. uh, we got to do something with Cannon. We got to take care of Guillermo. And, uh, but at the same time, man, Guillermo went on his way. It's the best thing for him. Yeah, maybe that's like his growth. Like he goes off and like makes more money and does that. And like, like he said, they 
grow apart. But then at the same time, it's very possible that he could be the fall guy for something that happens at at the company. At the company, for so sure. it's well, well, we shall see. <laughs> <laughs> but what did you think of this episode of What We Do in the Shadows? Let us know in the comments below. You can also like and subscribe. And do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Discord, all the social networking gin joints. You know where they are. Kick into the party. Fuel the party. Keep the party going on our Patreon as well as in our member section on our YouTube channel. Thanks so much, and as always, now it's time to say goodbye. This party is over. Bye. Bye.